Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Life on the Hulls and last week we left you here where I'd actually templated the stairs for our hull extensions and our sugar scoops. Now we made the pretty rash decision not to use the existing mould for the original boat that suited the unextended version of this boat. After all of that uh, loving preparation by Janet of uh, hand sanding and polishing this mould, the decision was made and uh, and it really is going to pay off in the long run. This week we're going to get right into how I intend to put this together. It's going to be a, a three-part series, I'd imagine, before you see the thing in its uh, final appearance. But right now we're just gonna get straight into it and uh, thanks for joining me. Just trying to work out the profile. It's gotta go down the side here and how I'm gonna go ahead with this. There's gonna be some timber framing and a whole lot of other construction going underneath here. Well, a number of you asked what Janet's reaction was to me changing the step design, worried for me. And uh, for me to forego the use of these perfectly prepared moulds was a pretty radical step. The reaction from her, in fact, was one of extreme enthusiasm once we settled on the design. And the only way to get over the decision was to actually get the job done. The first step is to laminate some 20 millimeter thick H80 foam to use for the treads and risers and a layup of two layers of 600 double bias. Uh, that was in order to increase the rigidity to withstand the pressure and platform of repeated use as a staircase. All right, so these are my foam stairs. They're not level, but at least it's gonna give me a good feel of how this is gonna look. This is gonna be sensational. This will here be all integrated into this wall here, which will give me the basis of the, of the structure. And then over here, we're going to have a nice big sweeping arc uh, foam panel that's going to actually enclose all of that in one piece. But yeah, that's going to be pretty good. I've just got to make a timber structure now at uh, 4 by 2 frame just to hold the thing in place and get it all plumb and level. And then I can bolt the whole thing together, get it glassed into the side there. I'll leave that structure there for some time and then make sure that I can pull it apart once I get this side panel glassed in. All right, so I've had to do a couple of nasty cuts to uh, make this fit, but I think I'm on the money now. It's looking pretty good. It's uh, been a bit of a job. Climbing up and down here is harder than going all the way around, but I can't work on it from over there because it's too far away. So it's a bit of a, bit of a challenge. So this whole modification hinges on the top step. And it's in. Now what I'm aiming for is a slight fall to this corner here so that any water that's going to collect is going to come to here and fall off the outside so that it keeps the whole thing draining. Um, but who knows on the water, who knows what it's going to do, but I'm going to aim it to do that. Yeah, that's got to drop at this end slightly. So yeah, I'm on the money. I think I'm doing quite well here. Gotta make sure whatever I build here, I can pull apart because I'm gonna be going through a hatch here and I need to be able to pull everything apart. If I can't do that, I'm in trouble. So I'm being ultra cautious. I don't wanna have something in there that I have to cut out of the chainsaw. I'm also gonna use this as the upright for the next stair. So I'll put a batten across there on the other side, which will hold the bottom stair. Okay, so I'm gonna be able to drop through here <laughs> in the hatch that I'm gonna cut out and dismantle this whole thing, but that's now giving me a solid base for that stair. I could actually put a couple of holes in that, just drill that through and, uh, and hold it in place, and at least that's my top stairs now secure. Fairly 
feeling a bit like uh, Steve McQueen in The Great Escape and uh, those of us that are old enough to remember that and I'd say that's pretty much just about everybody that watches my channel. <laughs> um, this is starting to look a little bit like, like the escape tunnel from the POW camp and uh, I've got to be able to get in there and work so I've had to make that wide, wide enough for my shoulders and my ass to fit through but what I've actually done up in here and whether you can see, I've put a couple of cleats in there and epoxy them to the side of the hull. And then I've also glued the tread down and I've put some composite angle, just some little cleats in there to hold it in place. And the whole thing is secured so that it can't move. Now, what I've got to do now is I've got to template the tread riser. And the important thing is that it's actually not straight and it also curves back in. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenging template. But now that I've got that top step, in place up there i'll be able to template this with some core flute but that template's going to have to go in as well as curve around the face of the stair tread so it's going to be a little bit complicated here now i've got to decide on how far in i want this step riser to sit so probably the best way to do that is to to get my arc which is directly vertically below it and then decide on a on a distance i guess maybe you know three or four centimeters might be enough i'll have to have a look and then do a secondary arc which will uh, give me that feel for how far in i want this riser to sit now i've got to remember that it's actually going to be underneath and glued to here and down curved as well as curved inwards so i'm trying to get it all even it's going to be a little bit of a process working that out Remembering I'm much in marking on the peel ply here. Uh, when I rip the peel ply off, I'm gonna make sure I don't get rid of my marks. So I've deliberately made the framing here so that I can actually get in here because it is absolutely necessary to be able to determine the treads of these stairs and uh, particularly the angle I'm aiming for. I've got to now make sure I do that consistently across the other three that I've got to do. Uh, I've only got to do four stairs in total. But the nice thing about this one is uh, this core flute gives me the right length and then when I flatten it out I can just transfer it straight onto foam, kerf the foam and I'll get the outer face remains the same. <laughs> just big enough for me. <laughs> just. <sighs> Thought my time was done in the small compartments. I fear that I'm gonna have a lot more of this to come. <sighs> So I can now trim that and I've got the exact shape, size and just got to make sure I get the angles right on the bottom and the top and I've got my treads. Now you may not think of a stair tread as a complicated shape, but in this case it is because not only is it bending this way, it's bending in and you've got a concave or a convex uh, outer 
that needs to be taken into account. So don't just think because it's 1,200 long, it's going to be 1,200 long. Once I curve it, I'm going to actually lose length. It's like bending tube. So this template here hopefully will work on the other side. I'm not convinced it'll be exactly the same, but it should be pretty close. Right, right, we've got this piece in place. You can see here my line that I've actually pin marked out to uh, ensure that I get the correct shape. I'm gonna have to go in there and push it back out. Now, the only problem is it's it needs to have some relief on this backward edge and on this forward edge. I need to basically miter it or bevel it a little bit and take about probably five or six mil off there, but I'm gonna push it into place and see exactly how much I need to remove. So. For the 15th time, I've just vacuumed this all out because I was getting a bit sick of laying in the fiberglass. But uh, this is basically my life for the next probably week or so while I get this structure done on both sides. So I've got to do this side and then I've got to get this strong enough so I can walk on it so that I can access the boat from the other side. It's just high enough. <laughs> I wish I was born tiny. <laughs> Yeah, I've got my... I have to remove a lot of material off the bottom, I fear, and off the top. Right, I'm going to glue this guy in, and I've got a whole heap of clamps and stuff here that I'm going to use to push it in from inside now once this is glued and set in place i'm going to trim this off towards the edge of the actual stair so that i can then wrap the tabbing around so it's going to be a bit of work inside there and then that's going to be pretty unpleasant but it's going to really make a big difference and these stairs are going to look just sensational i have to say once i round all this off and tidy it up all right Top of this. I need to get a fair amount on here. I don't want to fill the slots because I'm going to tab with vine lister and I don't want to complicate the chemistry so we'll get some on this part. So I'm going to go in there and push that into place and uh, start to backfill underneath the actual shelf. That looks pretty good, mate. Uh, is it against it? Um, could come a bit further in the pond. Yeah, no, it's... On your left hand side here, it should be a bit more. Hang on, I'll just get Where the curve is. That looks good over there. It's hard to get the clean. Is it joined it's pretty close? Because I've got a backfill it yet. screws on there on the right there, where you are. It's against it? Yes. Oh, I just can't see it, that's all. Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. That's giving me a really nice fillet. So all of this area will be cleared off, will be ground off, and then it'll be wrapped around, and then the whole thing will form one step. up for work finally. Hey, He's been helping me with the stairs. He's been advising me. Can't rush these things. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? I think that's dead square. It gives me a height riser of 240. They're a bit higher than a normal stair, but they're going to be nice. Giant stairs. Well. It's only six centimetres, eh? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, that's looking really nice. That, that actually looks amazing now. <laughs> 
Wow. That's Jeez. cool. That dead level, isn't it? Geez, you asked that, didn't you? Asked it. Totally asked it. Yeah. I reckon I'll put a piece of composite angle or something there so I've got the height oh, right. support it, yeah. Yeah, right. So I've got the template that I did for that step, and hopefully it should be fairly similar. It should almost be the same, to be honest. But what we'll do is we'll just mark it so that we know where it's going to sit. Because it's actually dead right. Dead right. We made some dots and then joint dots, and that gave me my basis point for for the radius. Now that I've got the stairs formed and cut away, I'm actually going to put a small platform in here. Now that is actually more decorative than anything, but it will actually act as a bit of support for standing there to get in and out of the tender while it's hanging in the davit so I can actually reach inside it. Um, it's basically going to curve from here around to here and then the davits will be around about here. So I've got to think about how I'm going to lay this out and I've started with a template here. And basically that is following the line of the back of the boat and then I'll have an arc here. It's only a small platform, but it does add a lot of detail to this region of the boat. It'll be a continuous step all the way along here, all the way around to here. And I'll put a combing ridge on the edge of it just to you know, give it a little bit more shape and a little bit more support underneath. All right, this is what I'm looking for, is this type of arrangement here. And that arc will continue all the way around to the stair here. And uh, just put a bit of styling under the back rather than a couple of big stairs. Next week I'm going to be going into some serious detail up on that top step and forming a complete lazarette style hatch with drainage and uh, it, it took a lot of detail to work that out so can't wait to see you next week guys thanks for joining me and uh, we'll see you then bye.